I'm Tatiana Whitlock, Director of Training with The Girl in a Gun, and for your Training Tip Tuesday, I'm joined by Lead Instructor Heather Eckert, and we're going to talk about what it means to dress for success to take a class. Now, there's a little bit of a difference between dressing for an indoor range versus an outdoor range because you have weather considerations, but there are some standards when you're handling and working with a firearm, and we can start with our shoes. We don't want to see you come to a range in flip-flops. Closed-toed shoes are really important for your personal safety, to keep hot brass off your body, and to keep the brass of your neighbors off of you as well. Heather, pants are also another big piece of this equation. Yes, pants are a big issue. A lot of times people will want to wear shorts to training, and actually a good sturdy pair of pants is your best way to go. It protects you from the elements, protects you from brass, and especially if you're going to be doing positional shooting, it's really going to make a big difference. We want to keep you safe. Now, if you're doing any holster work, Pants are pretty vital, especially making sure that they have belt loops. If you're going to carry a holster in any kind of formal training environment or even for a girl's night out, we really need to make sure that is a successful holster and that it's well supported on your body. And whether you're a belted person or not, when you're coming to one of our events, we strongly suggest you wear a belt to support that holster off of. Off body carry isn't something that we can really work with in our events because it takes a lot more safety protocol to do that safely. Safely. Belly band, soft sided holsters are also things that require really specialized training conditions to make sure that we do it safely. Now let's keep on going up. Let's talk about tops. Yes, uh, ladies, you definitely, uh, your top is going to make a big difference. Uh, we've all had brass go down our top. That's not a very pleasurable experience. So make sure that your shirt, go ahead and covers that so you won't have any hot brass falling down. And nobody wants to see you do the hot brass macarena dance. That's not cute. No, it's not. And we uh, often see a lot of safety issues arise from that as well. So a high collared shirt, a shirt that keeps your garments tight and close to your body will help prevent that brass from going down where we don't want it to. Now keep on coming up. We're going to keep talking about eye and ear protection. If you're at an outdoor range or at a range that doesn't have physical barriers between you and your neighbor, a brimmed ball cap does a great job of keeping hot brass from falling in that tiny little pocket between your eye pro and your body. We don't want eyebrow burns. That's very alarming and uncomfortable. So again, go from the bottom up. Sneakers, boots, you name it. Long pants, especially if you're doing any kind of outdoor movement is really important. A high collared shirt to keep brass from going down your top, a brimmed hat, and the appropriate PPE.